Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the All Africa Men's and Women's Championship final between Nigeria and Algeria for the men's and Uganda and South Africa for the women. Uh, Nigeria's Vic Victor looks so strong uh, coming from his previous game against Egypt. He played very well. Uh, looks like it will be a pretty, pretty, pretty involving game. And the players uh, look both prepared for this match. Mamar is a tall guy, about uh, 1.7. His height is pretty good for hello, a good hello. smash by Victor, the Nigerian. It's gonna be a pretty interesting match, this one, believe you me. Nigeria has fought through to be in this final. And we expect pretty more efforts. I wouldn't get surprised to see them get this one. Yeah, yeah. T uh, Timoth, what do you think about uh, this match between uh, Nigeria and uh, Algeria? It looks very tough to me. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Pretty tough game. Nigerians never give up. If you uh -huh. see where they come from, beating Egypt wasn't an easy task for them. Yeah. Yeah, they fought through all the way till they won it 3-2. Uh, let let's see what's going to happen in this in this in this final. Yeah, they appear to be a team that is having uh, confidence, and at the same time, that they they appear to be very calm on court. They appear to be very calm on court, and I believe this is going to be indeed a final. You know, looking at um, this match that we are just watching uh, between uh, Victor from Nigeria and the Mamari from uh, Algeria, a very easy match. To make. Trust me, it's gonna be a match that's going to be full of impulsiveness and full of you know energy conserving. You know, this is gonna be indeed a brilliant match. Looking at uh, the scores just at the moment, you know. Uh, wow, what gonna... a beautiful shot from Victor. That is nice. What a beautiful shot from Victor, Nigeria. This is quite good at and interesting. You know, and not only looking at this, uh, we are also, uh, uh, Uganda women, they are also playing on the other court against South Africa. You know, Gradis Mbabazi, it's good to, to see her back in the game, you yeah. know. I'm really relieved and happy at the same time. Yeah, yeah, we we'll see how Mbabazi will take this game. I'm sure she will, she will play pretty well in that she's coming to into a game with a win behind her back. Yeah, yeah. And this is going to give her a lot of confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's gonna be it's not going to be really easy taking on South Africa. You know, you know these, these South Africans they can really, you know, turn everything around if you are not careful with them. So I believe this match also is gonna be a very, very tough one. I love the spirit of the Ugandans. They never give up. They keep on fighting, fighting and fighting. Yeah. They came in this tournament with one heart, 
playing all heartedly and let's see where they are going to land themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, back on court, on court one, you know, um, the main singles. The experienced Algerian versus the never giving up Nigerians. Yeah, 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 yeah. This match is very interesting. You know, between Nigeria, the main uh, final, Nigeria against uh, Algeria, Victor versus Memari. You know, it's, this is quite good and quite interesting. You know, looking at the, the play itself, this player, the both of them appear to, to be very calm, you know. Yeah, Victor, Victor seems calm. Uh, he seems calm. Yesterday he played so well uh, against Egypt, uh, coming from a set down, yeah. winning the game by two two sets to one. It was a pretty 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 hard, tough game for him. Yeah. Yeah, we saw him sustain an injury, but he looks stronger today. Uh, I think he's okay for for this game. Yeah, and looking at the scores at the moment, you know, it's Algeria really. It's now on the interval. Yeah, it's we 11 see. Eleven eight, right? It's eleven eight now. It's Algeria reading. Right? Eleven scores to eight. What hope? Do you think Victor will come back from this one? Do you think Victor will come back? Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Uh, I. I can't predict, but the experience of the Algerians speak uh, loud. You know, they are here to prove a point in that they they had their their defending champions. They are here to prove a point. Let's see where uh, uh, this first game will land them. Yeah, yeah, because you can tell it's, as I see this part now. You know, uh, it's Algeria now read, uh, leading by 11 scores to eight. You know, it's Mamari saving at the moment. Pretty calm player, Mamari. His defense is so strong. I think he's more of a doubles player than singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell by the defense itself that such that, you know, uh, Victor has only scored one smash, one power one of smash, you know. But all the smash that is eating, Mamari is really getting back on them, you know. So, I think Nigeria, one thing that should should just be really just go in with, with full of boldness and confidence at the same time. But it's not going to be easy on Mali, knowing that he's also a very, very good and tough player. You know. Yeah, we can see he's very calm and very confident. Um, you know, and trust me, this is just the first set uh, of the first game. This is just the first set. Yeah, this is just the first set. What a powerful smash from Mamadi. Yeah, what a powerful smash. Oh, He's so strong. From yeah, we we yeah. see those in his doubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not new. We see. We usually see those in doubles. Yeah. You know, and I think at, uh, Victor should not really be giving uh, Mamadi those lifts, those, you know, that frequent, knowing the fact that... Uh, it's very tall, you know, so it will be very easy for him to hit on a smash and to get back on point. You see what I was talking about? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Very tall, so he's a very good attacking him, player. It's going to be things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's capitalizing on the... on his... on the smashes. Yeah. He knows and to say that that's his strong point. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. I believe he will try by all means to force Victor to, to keep on lifting so I can keep on pounding powerful smashes on him. confidence of the Nigerian Victor is very strong very physically fit and uh, he's got a lot of confidence coming in, into this game uh, look at his play playing without fear facing Algeria with with all his heart and mind hoping he'll grab this one yeah yeah, yeah. you know 
very, very calm but quick, you know. He's really, he's really quite good and he looks uh, to be physically fit to me according to the physical appearance just. You know, but trust me, it's, gonna, it's not going to be an easy match. But I believe uh, with, with these few mistakes that Bamari has made, it's not good, you know, it's not looking good to me. It's not looking good to me. No raro, no raro. Point at the time to Victor. He looks as though he's dictating the game. What a good smash! What a good smash! He's really fighting for every point, Victor. We can see his confidence and his calmness on court. Mamari should 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 up his game. Should not underestimate uh, this this man, Victor. The good, things, the good thing about these Algerians is that they are very calm when they are playing. You would think they are, out of, they, are, they, are out, they are already out of the game. But slowly, slowly, slowly coming in. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Slowly they are coming back, you know. Slowly, slowly. So I believe, uh, you know, even the taste just of the game has really changed as you can be able to see. You know, the movement of the shadow just. It's 17 19. Mamari. Mamari is coming back slowly. He's yeah, so patient. Yeah. Victor is leading by 19 points to 17. You know, he's leading. And uh, Mamali is just really controlling the game, you yeah, know, yeah, and he's pushing all the pressure to Victor, you know, yeah. such that he's just placing now out, you know. Very you know, patient. It's quite good and interesting. Very patient play by Mamari. Yeah. You see now the pressure is on Victor. The pressure is on Victor. To, yeah. to score very quickly. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to get the the game pretty fast. Yes, and this is 19-0 now. It's 19-0. Yeah. Like and I said, Mamari is. I believe they are high by now. You know, this is quite good. It's quite good. What a what a what some patient play by Mamari. Yeah, indeed. It's not. It's not easy to to be down by. Four points and still come back, bringing bringing it to 19 up. It's now 2019. Yeah, Victor is leading, you know, by 20 scores to 19. Do you think Victor is gonna win this set? What do you think? Let's see where it will take us. It's very unpredictable, it's right? Very unpredictable. Yeah, you know, looking at the play that Victor is really playing, you know, it's like he wants things to be done very quickly. You know, I understand the players at this moment, trust me, all the names are up, up high, you know. The emotions are up high. Everybody really wants to carry the day. Yeah, they want, everyone wants to win this one. Yeah. Wow, what a beautiful what a smash beautiful from smash Victor. From you know, Victor. this guy has got power. You know, and looking at it, Mamari also, this guy has got defense. You know. Yeah, this is quite good.
you know, and Victor has carried the day for the first save. Victor gets the first game. Yeah, it's 21-19. Victor 19. has won the first set. What a beautiful game. First set we had. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Victor has been attacking throughout the game. Yeah, indeed. And He's looking really at hungry the, for the points. Yes, trying to one. get everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, and looking on the other side, you know, Gradis from Uganda also, she has carried the day. She has won the first set. You know, she has overconquered the South Africans on this very first seat. You know, one thing that I know about the cranes of Uganda, these people, they've got names, you know. These guys, they've got power and they've got physicality on them. So I think it's not going to be easy for the South Africans again. Just really stay very active to conquer the Ugandans. What do you think about this? Do you very think strong South Africans Ugandan come team. Back? Very strong Ugandan team. Very confident. Uh, coming into this game, very confident, very good style of play, very dedicated. Um, we see Gladys taking her first game, which shows us uh, how dedicated they are. Yeah, they the want to get yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They want to take everything. Yeah. I don't know, I cannot tell because badminton is really unpredictable. I cannot tell what the second set will, will be all about. You know, but not only that, but focusing on the uh, the game, the main singles between uh, Mamari and Victor. This is now the second set. Second set it is. Yeah. It looks like Mamari has come back stronger this time. Yeah, with a powerful smash, huh? What yeah. a way of introducing the second set, you know. I think he's coming into this uh, second game with uh, more venom to strike. We pretty, see, we pretty see the game has changed, his game plan has changed. I think he wants to, to take it with more pace. Yeah, and looking at it, what do you think the coaches would have told Mamari on, uh, the, on that interval thing? What do you think the coaches have told Mamari? If we look at the game, Mamari has come in with an attacking mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure his coach has told him to keep on attacking, huh? To attack more yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I believe so as well. You know, looking at the confidence uh, that the coaches, I believe, have on these Algerians, knowing that they are defending champions. You know, and the, 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 I believe they are not going to just let this entire match just to really just go out. You know, uh, out of hand from them. Defend this title, I believe. Want to grab everybody it. would love it. They way. really want to grab it. Yeah. yeah Nigeria not, not leaving any stone unturned. Yeah. We see the physicality, the confidence of Victor getting them points yeah and mamali is slowly giving away points slowly i believe this guy has the pressure knowing that um, uh even the crowd itself expect much from him you know and yeah. knowing that they are defending champions i believe the pressure is all on them the pressure is on them yeah and if it stays this way, the, the pressure will keep, you keep on mounting and mounting Trust and mounting. Me, that's going to happen. The, the pressure is going to mount even to the second player that's going to come. It's going to mount knowing that there will be one new down. Exactly. You know, and Victor is just, oh, you know, he's been, this guy is very patient, you know, the this way he's just controlling the shuttle, very patient, he's and giving it all to Mamari. He's, he's got a good control, Victor. <laughs> what a powerful what, smash What a powerful Mamari. smash from yeah, Mamari. Yeah, indeed. He's full of placement, you if know. If he plays like that, I'm sure he's going to dictate play and probably grab this one. Yes, indeed. Yeah. You shouldn't really play a large game, you know, because as we can tell and see, 
you know, the Nigerians they are physically fit, my friend. Yeah. You know, that is a hard shot now. It's another point if, now to Victor, the Nigerian, you know. I believe this is going to be a match that's going to be, you know, full of uh, impulses and venom, you know. It's going to be a very tough match as, he, as it has begun, just. Yeah, he's taking a point at a time. You know, yeah, one point at a time. One, one point, point at, at a time, time Victor. <laughs> you know, this match is quite interesting. Yeah, and looking at it on the women's singles here between Uganda and South Africa, you know, it appears to be like uh, uh, the game is, is on now. Looking at the scores, just look, knowing the fact that, you know, it's South Africa leading. It's South Africa leading Uganda. It should be eight points to two, to three, you know. Do you think Brad is going to come back this second set? Is, gonna come, is, she, is she going to really make it a two straight? I think South Africa is trying to come back stronger in this game. Looking at uh, the play of South Africa, I think the coach has made it clear yeah. uh, uh, to how, uh, what they need to do for them to get this uh, game. Yeah. And they look stronger this set. Yeah. And South Africa is really detecting the play. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it appears to me, Gradis looks very tired and very pressured, you know. She looks very tired and concerned at the same time. I think the, the instruction from the coach was uh, straightforward. Yeah, but, you know, these Ugandans are very... Unpredictable, huh? Unpredictable, yeah. yeah. They keep on in fighting, time, yeah. You know, in this time, just... You know, yeah, yeah. So, I believe it's going to be a very tough match on the South Africans. And not only them, but also on the Ugandans at the same time. It's 10, ten points to 8. Yeah, now on the main singles... Uh, Algeria, Algeria looks like they're coming back into this game. Yeah, it's nine points to ten now. You know, that one is the outside of the case now. If you see, points in a row if you see Roderick, uh, Victor has changed uh, his winning game strategy. Yeah. He stopped uh, attacking and... Uh, Yes. Playing more of uh, a rally game, huh? a rally game, yeah. yeah. It seems like you just want to put everything in the game and not calling, but waiting on the right opportunity to score. Yeah, you know, he's giving chance to Mamari now. Uh, Mamari is capitalizing on the on, on Victor's point, huh? game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this guy is now more focused on scoring, you know, and looking at it. You know, Mamari has also refused to allow Victor, you know, dictating the play. Because every time when, uh, Victor run, really wants to put the game in the shuttle, within the court, you know, in rally, Mamari is all falling back to Victor with powerful smashes such that it's now forcing Victor to make errors, you know, to make mistakes. Yeah, I think Victor should not have, should not have changed his winning game. Yeah. His first game was brilliant. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, I think now he's... Uh, He's mounting pressure on himself. In yeah, that, uh, yeah. If you look at the scores, uh, now he's now 11-10. Yeah. Just one point uh, in between, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just one point in between, and I believe uh, during the interval, the coach has even told them to say, "Guys, you know, you can really carry the day. You can really carry the day." I believe uh, even. Even to, to Victor, you know, I believe the coaches would have taught, taught him to say that, no, just play the way, the same way you played on the first set, you know. Because trust me, if Victor really uh, lose this, this set, it's going to be a different story for the third set on him.
Ja, ja, ja. Wow, what a powerful smash. It's a bounce back smash, you know. Yeah, indeed, indeed, going to we really win this game if he continues playing like this in such kind of a manner, such that he, he continues to dictate the play, huh? You know, and it's 13 now, right? Very personal now, such that it's just really more of attacking now. Yeah, it's 14 now. See the pop smashes that is really hitting on my body. Yeah. Making more points when he's in attacking mode, you know. Yeah. And the, the, the pressure on Mamari now is really getting mounted. You know, it's really mounting each and every point that Victor really makes. You know, because he wants to play tight drop shots on the net, Mamadi. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, both players have got pressure. Yeah, what a net play. What a net play that these players have really showed on the net. You know, it's really quite good and quite wonderful to really watch such kind of skilled players play in such kind of a manner, you know. Good cross court smash by Mamari. He's trying to come back in this game. Yeah. To put the pressure on. Uh, but on Victor, Victor, Victor looks more strong and confident. Yeah. yeah. You know, this guy is patient and relaxed. You know, this guy, man, he has physique. Physically so, fit, the yeah. Nigerians are. I believe that's why even Mamani is really avoiding him to be doing all the rally things because he knows to say that once they rally, he continues playing the rallies he's going to be in the game but normally will be out of the game you know because victor looks more physical you know more physically fit compared to mamali more of a doubles player and a mixed doubles player mamari he is indeed yeah, so it's not gonna be easy this set is gonna be easy Trust, full of emotions. See now the pressure is also mounting now on Victor. Looking at Mamalia scored now. Ah, uh, he wants to finish the points. game quickly. <laughs> you know, that is the hard shot again. You know, the pressure is mounting now on Victor. It's another out. You know, it's now four points consecutively and it's 17 each yeah it's 17 all now anything is possible at this moment you know it's now victor is leading by 18 points to 17. Good attacking play by Victor. Yeah, indeed. This guy is very patient. Huh? See the way he's playing as if maybe he doesn't have pressure. You know, and this is now 1917 is leading again with a two point difference. Oh my god. You know, it's, it's another point to Victor. You know, it's an in shadow. It's another point to Victor. It's now 20. It's another point to Victor. This is now a he game takes, point. He takes it to game point, Victor. You know, yeah, and Mamani looked to be, appears to be very disturbed mentally. You know, he thought that was a short service. Very dedicated, this Nigerian. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah. I hear the, the friends of his used to, uh, the time they were coming here, they were calling him Victor Osman, comparing him to that footballer, yeah, the Nigerian. Relating you know, him to because Victor they look Osman. alike and he has the day, you see, the Nigerians have won. What a good game. Yeah, indeed. What, this was quite a beautiful match from the Nigerian. They have portrayed the strength, you know, this is quite good. Victor has won a two straight. Uh, defeating Mamali the Algerians is the one new now to uh, the Nigerians. One you know. new to the Nigerians. The first, the, the first game won by Victor. Yeah, indeed. Two straight, huh? Two straight games. Yeah, and now switching uh, Timos to the uh, ladies' singles, you know, between Gradis, he's still on, still on the in the second seat. You know, Gradis Mbabazi from Uganda against uh, Elaine from South Africa. You see, she's she's fighting her, her way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust it's me. It's 16, 17 now. Yeah. And you can you see how dedicated these Ugandans I are. I can't believe it that she has really come back from 93, from 93 rather. <laughs> you know, and she's playing now very patient. You see, it's now up. It's 17 up now. Very strong Ugandans, very dedicated, like I said. Yeah. Very frustrating. You know, <laughs> it's quite frustrating, you know. <laughs> yeah, see, she has got another point. This is now 1817 in favor of the cranes, you know, in favor of I, the Ugandans. I think she has. She's really playing a very good game. She has turned the tables down. Yeah. This girl is quite patient. See the way she's just really placing the drops. It's at the out shuttle, you know. It's it's not pretty you know, good she's fight. She's 19 now. It's pretty two points <laughs> away. It's quite frustrating, like you said, Timon. Very frustrating, this Ugandan. Yeah, yeah, they are putting up a pretty good fight. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. They are never giving up. They're yeah. going for everything. Yes. See, it's 20 now. You know, I just told a you, point Roderick. away. I told you, Roderick. Trust me, I've started believing in you. You know, because you said it in the beginning to say that these people are really unpredictable, the Ugandans. You know, you know gratis is she's really unpredictable. See, she and has she carried the match. She has and carried she takes the, game. the second game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 2 0. 2 0. Gratis and Papa's from Uganda has won against Rolem from South Africa. Pretty good game. Yeah, as it well. was quite a good match. You know, a very interesting match to watch. This was quite good. This was quite interesting. You know, and the coaches for the Ugandans really, they are very. They keep on frustrating big teams, these Ugandans. Imagine, same with the Nigerians. Huh? <laughs> they keep on frustrating, you know, their opponents. You know, this is quite good. It looks like they were really, really prepared for this tournament. For this tournament, these Ugandans. Uh, very bold, full of confidence. Like prepared themselves vividly. You know. Yeah, this is quite good. This is quite good to see. You know, and uh, looking at the team that they have, the Ugandans, the the women's team. You know, it's all it's all said. It appears to me like it's all said. This is quite good. Quite good. Quite good.
You know, it's uh, the main single is a uh, second game between Nigeria and Algeria. Yeah. It's uh, Anu Joano Peori versus Yusuf Sabri Madal. Pretty yeah. experienced play players, Roderick. Yeah, indeed, full of experience, the both of the players, you know. So it's going to be a very tough match, especially looking at it that uh, uh, Anu lost yesterday from uh, Atem Eogama. They are all coming from a loss. Yeah. I'm sure they are all coming with hunger. In yeah, yeah, they, they, are, they are the best, right? Yeah, yeah. this game will dictate uh, uh, the, the, the game between Algeria and Egypt because if uh, Nigeria gets this one, it will be 2-1. Uh, You know, one thing that I know about these Algerian players, especially uh, Sabli, you know, he's a very, very unpredictable player with his unpredictable shots. You know, he has those trick shots and he can really frustrate the opponent. Very you know, frustrating. The, the way is. he plays sometimes. You know, so even um, Anu Opeoli, he shouldn't really play calm on him if he really wants to carry the day. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. This Sabli, good attack by Anu Opeoli. It's quite good. Yeah, what a fantastic smash, huh? A close call smash. You know, this is just two one now. It's Anu Opeyoli from Nigeria leading. Oh. It's three one now. These it's players three. know each other very well. Yeah indeed, they know one another. You know. Even the play they are very patient and very patient on one another we can basically tell to say that they know one another in terms of the formality of play you know the style they know one another yeah 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 i think the pressure is now on algeria to get this game yeah they, they really want to get this match you know they call him the superhero <laughs> yeah the superheroes of nigeria you know, it's not going to be easy for them to carry the day. Trust me. They are coming into this game so strong, Nigerians. Yeah. They I think know what's on the plate. Painting, you know. I think the instruction by the coach here was so clear. You know, they look dedicated and committed to this game. Really right and true, you know. You know, I know he's really putting the pressure on Sabli. You know, such that Sabli appears to be kind of a, a little bit kind of confused. Uh, you know, on the other hand, playing more of a fast game. You know, so I believe uh, one thing that we really need to 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 to, to know, Timothy, is uh, it's not gonna be an easy, you know, win for the Nigerians. Trust me, these Algerians they will try to fight back. See what I was talking about with his crazy shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. They know they need to get this one. Yeah, they know indeed that they have to win this one. Quick play by Anu Opeori. Yeah, Anu is up. You know, he's up. He's trying to dictate play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed, Timoth. And Timoth, what do you think really seeing on this other side is still uh, South Africans uh, against the women singles, South African against the Ugandans? It's now uh, Ugandans again dictating the play this side. What yeah. do you think about it? Indeed, yeah. I believe you now that the Ugandans are no players to underestimate. They Trump. came. They came here with a very strong mind. Yeah. I think uh, 
they have been motivated because uh, they have been winning, winning, from winning, and go, winning yeah. from the way it go. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. As they they have pretty much confidence coming into this game. Yes. So I'm sure they the instruction from the coach has been clear. Yes, indeed. Yeah, to keep on going, to keep on pushing harder, to keep on fighting. Yes. If you if you if you check out the level of confidence in this game, the Ugandans m look more confident yeah. than the South Africans. Yes, indeed. You know, the South Africans looks very as if not, they are, she's not in the game. She's not in you the know, game. The yeah. body just the texture, the body texture just you know can basically tell to say that she appears as if maybe she's not on court. You know. Yeah, and it's the Ugandans really dictating play with their physicality. It's one ten. It's one ten, and this ex tells you exactly how this game is going. Yeah, indeed. It's eleven one. Yeah, now. it's eleven one now. It's the Ugandans leading. You know, yeah, and on the, on other, the other side. On the yeah. other side, uh, Anuo Peori is also leading by. 11 points to 5. Yeah, it's yeah it's very leading. dedicated this these Nigerians. Yes, yeah. indeed. If you look they they come from a very tough game against Egypt. Yeah. And I I think they they know where they are coming from. Yeah. The message is so clear from their coach. It looks He looks so strong Anu Peori this this time around coming into this game. Yeah. Trying to dictate play, trying to get everything. <laughs> now looks like uh, Sabri wants to come back, huh? come back into this game. Yeah. Looking at the mentality I believe that he has come up with, you know, is really attacking now. He's throwing sh uh, powerful smashes on Anu now. Yeah. It's not gonna be easy. Trust me. It's not gonna be easy, Timothy. It's not gonna be easy. So Anu better come back with the uh, with the attacking mind if he wants to carry the day. You know, in this game, if he wants to win, he better come, 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 come with the positive mentality, with the attacking force, powerful smashes on Sabri. Not like this. Trust me. I think pressure is mounting on Anu now. Three straight straight points to Algeria. He's coming back slowly. But it's not going to be an easy game, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. It's really going to be tough. You yeah, know, looking at uh, uh, the quality of the players themselves just can be... We can basically tell that it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. It's 15-2 on the other side. <laughs> oh, the women's singles, huh? It's Uganda leading South Africa by 15 points to two. Anu Peori is fighting for every point now. Yeah, I yeah. think he knows. He doesn't need to let go of this game. Yes, indeed. With a lot of tension in this game, Roderick. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. I told you in the beginning that this game is going to be full of tension, you know, full of emotions, you know, so it all goes back to somebody who's going to carry the day, you know.
What a game, what a game, what a game. What a game, what a game. The, the main singles, you know. This is always interesting. It's always interesting. A lovely game. Lovely game it is. What a smash by Sabri Medel. Yeah, what a powerful smash from Sabri. What a very powerful smash from him. Good cross court smash by Anu Peori. Yeah, indeed, that was quite clever. You know, that was quite intelligent to play such kind of a shot in such kind of a state. You know, Sabliz, he has made an, another error. Yeah, and too many unforced errors, Roderick. Yeah, like I you think said. he's trying to perfect his drop so he can create a chance for his attack. Yeah. And Unf another unforced error. Yes, yes, indeed. I believe, like you said, it's just full of tension, you know. So I believe it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. You know, but... I think looking at the, the number of un unfor unforced errors by Sabri, it will, it will tell you the level of... Uh, the level of another unforced error, you see, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, a drop shot placed out. The level of pressure that is mounting on Sabri Medel is becoming higher and higher. Yeah, 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 Timoth. Good cross court shot by Sabri Medel. If, if he needs to take this game, he needs to reduce on the unforced errors, Roderick. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And did he rig that shot? Yeah, but I don't, I don't understand why he has placed on, on, on in, in, you know, uh, in the net because he rigged and play that he will play that shot. If Trust he needs me. to get this game, he needs to reduce on the unforced errors. Yeah, but it seems he's. He's scoring himself more than Anu is scoring him. Yeah, 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 yeah. The pressure is is much on him. Sabri looks looks like he's now patient for the shot for the shots now. Oh and forced error again. Yeah. They are costing him a lot, Roderick. Yeah indeed, because he has made so many forced errors, you know. Good cross court smash. Yeah, by indeed. Isanu has won the first eight. And it takes the first eight. Yeah, he has won the first eight. You know, what, what, what a, a great match that it was, the first eight. On the other hand, Mbawani Gladys. You know, that yeah, match in was quite good. Six that four. match was quite good. It was quite good. And it's now uh, this Osin, you know, from Uganda, this girl, you know. She's really playing very good. And this is the second set, knowing the fact that the, uh, the first set she has carried the day. This girl from Uganda, she carried the day first set, but this is the second set and she's really dictating the play. The South Africa lo looks frustrated. Yeah, and tired at the same time. They look very tired. They look defeated, you know. They look defeated, definitely. Yeah. They look defeated. The body language will tell you, Roger. Yes, for real, Timoth. They look defeated. But anyway, trust me, we might not know what this game will bring all about. They might come back. Anything with, um, when it comes to badminton is, po is possible. Anything is possible. So trust me, they're going to pull up their tokens and come back in the game if they, if they really want to carry the day.
They need to up their game, these South Africans. Yeah. Need to get this game. Yes, unforced indeed. Unforced error. Unforced error. Too many unforced errors in this game, Roger. Yeah. You know, and switching on the other side, it's the second set now. It's Lavo now, the second set. I believe this second set will be full of uh, emotions now, you know. We believe um, if Sabri is going to come back, you know, in this second set, it's going to be a different story, Timoth. It's going to be a different story, Timoth. Trust me, it's going to be a different story. Yeah, he's trying to come back stronger, knowing that he has lost the first, his first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe what Let's he has to do. Let's see what the coaches have communicated to them. Yeah. I believe what he has to do when it comes to Sabri is just to re uh, reduce on the, the healers huh? that he made in the first set. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. see? They are first era, yeah, right? again, you know, it's a service in the Nate. Another unforced error, you, know, <laughs> you know, this this game, I believe, I concur with you now that it's going to be full of emotions, huh? I think Sabri is trying to take this game quickly. But Anu looks more dedicated, uh, more focused in this game. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Good shot by Anu Opeori. He's trying to dictate this game, Roderick. Yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't want to, to, to be going back, you know. He wants to keep on leading, you know, from the way go. He wants to build up from the way go so that it doesn't regulate anything. What do you think, Timoth, about it? Do you think uh, if uh, Lee really continues to play in such kind of a manner with such kind of unforced errors, do you think... Um, it's gonna win this match. No, definitely think? no, 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 no. If you look at Arno's dedication into this game, uh, he looks uh, more strong. He looks more dedicated, and he looks uh, more tentative. Yeah, he yeah. really wants to get this game. Yeah, indeed. I believe uh, I was even chatting with uh, the with the Algerians last time. You know when the. Well, 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 uh, the ways that they used, you know, to... Another unforced error. Yeah, Roderick. another unforced error, you know. I think his, his mind is not in the game, Sabri Nadal. Yeah, yeah. Not too different from the way he played yesterday. Yeah. You know, though the, uh, the friends of East, they believe in him, including the coaches. Imagine such that the ways that we are using to... But he needs to, to prove his point, Roderick. Yeah. He needs to prove that he can win the game. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Anything is possible. He By can come back. If we saw really glad this Mbaba is coming back from 10, 10 points to 3, he can also come back. Anything is possible as long as he dedicate himself, you know, to avoid such kind of unforced errors that he was making in the beginning of the match. He, need, he needs to be consistent and focused. You know, because looking at it, that uh, this Nigerian guy, Anu Opeoli, the friend of his also, they were calling him to say that he's, uh, he's the machine. I don't know what they meant by that, <laughs> but they were calling him that Anu is the machine. You know, he never gives up. You know, he's the machine. He keeps they on never going. Give no matter up how tough, how hard the game it. is, he keeps <laughs> on pushing. I wonder what kind of machine he is, because even a machine without fuel, sometimes it gets tired. What do you think? Because trust me, trust me, he's proving the point that indeed is a machine, because he keeps on going. He keeps on going. Yes, you know, making points. Good smash by Sabri Medal. Yes, indeed, that was powerful. Full of venom, huh? I think his smash is more powerful on his backhand. Yeah, yeah. Good cross court court. Cross court shot by Anu Peori. Yes, indeed, that was a very good. He's patiently taking shot. this game. What do you think, Roderick? This game to me, trust me, I can't really say it now, and especially knowing that uh, it's now on interval with Anu leading. 
by 11 points, you know, by 11 points, he's leading. You know, I, so. I, I don't see Sabri coming back into this game. Yeah, he looks unless, to me very uh, tired. Unless uh, he, come, he comes back with uh, another formula, because it looks as though Anuo Peori uh, is dictating play and getting uh, most of the points. Yeah, and on the, on the other side, Timoth, not looking at it, the Ugandans have again won. It's that 2 0 now, it's South Africa down by 2 0. You know, it's the Ugandans leading. You know, indeed, these people they are the Ukraines of Uganda. You know, they are doing everything that they can to make sure that they secure the three points in the face single. If you look at the, the scoreline 21 4, 21 10, see, by no, this uh, not even young there. lady, Kobugabe. Uh, she, she dictated play throughout. Yeah, indeed. This Yosef, you know. Anu comes back in this game with a uh, winning mentality. Yes, I think he's indeed. taking this game so serious. Right? Yeah, he, he's leading by 12 points now. He's leading by 12 points. But trust me, Sabli is not a player to underlate. Trust. Yeah, but he needs to up the, his game in this one, Roderick. If he has to win it, he needs to work for it. Yeah, indeed. Good jump smash by. Yeah, that was a very nice shot. See, Sabli, he looks very disappointed. You know, he looks very disappointed as if maybe he's ashamed on himself. He's not putting in everything, Roderick. He needs to up his game for him to... To win this if he has to carry the day yeah, right yeah. yeah he needs really to pull up these tokens to make sure that everything's put right and whoa i think anu knows he needs to win this game as quick as possible yeah and if he continues anu again with those unforced ailers trust me it's gonna be something really something's gonna change Sanu has made another point. Yeah, Roderick. He's dictating play, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. He's dictating play, Anu. Wow, what a powerful smash, powerful smash from Hanu. He was player. ready for that one. He was ready for that one. You know, what a way to go for the Nigerians. If you, you, know, look, at, if you look at this are, game, are, Roderick, if you look at this game, yes, uh, Anu is trying to wind up. He's trying to to win it quickly because he knows uh, Sabri is not giving in. Is not giving in his best at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Maybe he's trying to focus on his doubles. Yeah, you might not know. You might not know. Because if the Nigerians take on the, all the three things, trust me, the Algerians are out. out. You know, so I believe he's just kind of like disturbed mentally, looking at the way Anu is playing, you know, with uh, no unforced errors. See the what a smash that is by Anu him, You know, it's not, uh, it's not easy on him, I believe. It's not easy on him. You know, see the way he's just looking, you know. It appears to me that he's disappointed with himself. He looks as though he wasn't prepared for this one, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fantastic drop shot from the Nigerian. Wow, what a great shot from Ano. That was quite good. He's trying to win this game as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what that an, shot from Sabli. You what know, a net kill by Sabri Madeo. It's very frustrating, <laughs> huh? Full of venom. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is quite good on the net. Unforced error by Sabri Madeo. I think he's lost uh, a lot of points through, through unforced errors, Rodri. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. yeah, I can basically tell looking at it from the way it go. The, the, the unforced errors, ah, they were too much on him, you know. Says that he has he has placed uh, almost all the shuttles in out shuttles in the net, you know, more than ten shots.
I think Han Anu has just realized he needs to win this one as quick as possible. Yeah, 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 indeed. Another unforced error. Yes, yes. You know, and Anu is 20 now. Just a point away from calling the day. Just a point away. Yeah, it's game done now. Game Anu over. Anu have won 2-0, the Nigerians. Anu wins. And if the Nigerians really continue with the same spirit, if they win the second game, the, uh, the third match that's going to come, it's over. You know, trust me, it's done for the Algerians. It's, it's done for the Algerians. Really. Yeah, yeah. Trust they need me. to really, really work hard for the, for, for the last game, Roderick. Yes, indeed. Indeed, Timo. The they pressure really is on to. them now. Nigeria is leading by 2-1. Uh, 2-0. Two, uh, 2-0. Two, zero. Two, zero. Two, zero. Yeah. Two, zero. Yeah, and switching on the other side, knowing that it's, again, the Ugandans uh, versus the South Africans. This is the, the third game now. This is the third match, you know. Yeah, again, uh, between uh, Fedila, you know, and uh, Joanita. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this match is going to be a very tough match, it's trust me. Between these two, it's always young, it's a, tough be match, a very, very tough match. These two always give in their best. Yes, yes. But let's yes. wait and see what, will be what the South Africans are, uh, are here hold. to offer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what because the, the pressure game is, is all about. on them. Uganda is leading by 2-0 as well. Yeah. You know the, uh, the I pressure think is more on South Africa than Uganda right now. Yes, because South Africans also will try to prove in their their base. Because this match is all on now on Joanita. Joanita needs to get this one for them. To yeah, and they'll have more game. hope. Yeah. You know, but if they lose this one, they are also out. They're out. Yeah, but it's gonna be a very tough one, trust me. It's now Fedila. You know. Fedila saving. Very dedicated. Fadila and very dedicated uh, Joanita. Yeah. It's going to be a good game to watch this one. Yes, indeed. Good cross court push by Fadila. Yes, yes. What a good cross court by Joanita. Yeah, indeed, that was a, a, a great shot from uh, Joanita. That was quite good. What a shot from Fedila. Huh? Yeah, very calm and collected. Yeah, this, this girl is patient on court. Yeah, very patient. Yeah, and she's very mobile, you know. She really moves, <laughs> you know. Good reach by Fadila. Yeah, indeed. I told you, Timoth, this girl is mobile. She can really tackle the shuttle at any angle as long as it's just within the court. She's quite good. You know, and uh, turning on the other side, turning on the other side on the main singles, third match between Nigeria and uh, Algeria. It's now Adel Amak from Algeria against Godwin Olofua from Nigeria. You know, this game is going to be tough as well. You pressure know, looking at uh, from the way it go. Pressure on Algeria in that they have lost uh, their first two games. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. They will be hoping to we will get this one. 
so that they get into uh, the doubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, trust me, trust me. It's going to be a very tough match. Trust me, Roderick. Uh, South Africa and Uganda is going to be a tough game, this one. It looks like uh, Joanita has come back strong in this eight game, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. Trust me. Trust me, Timon. Trust me. She looks, uh, she has taken things to be personal. She knows to say that she's the one that's, that's, that is going to revive the friends, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs to win this one. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a must win for them. Yeah, they are, yeah, if they have to be in the game, she has to carry the day. Good shot by Joanita. Looks like she's dictating play. Yeah, yeah, indeed. What a shot by Fadila. Indeed, indeed. Trust me, one thing that I love about this girl Fadila, she's physically fit. Even if she doesn't look to be kind of muscle, but she has the physique. Joanita uh, is taking this game on her fingertips. She knows she needs to win this game. You know, and the main singles now is on now. You know, it's Godwin Olofa from Nigeria, leading by a score, you know, by a point. It's one each. It's one, one each, each, Roderick. Oh wow. What a way to go. This is gonna this is gonna be a very tough game, Rod. Yes indeed. It has just begun with a lot of pace, huh? Full of energy on both players. Yeah indeed. Indeed. It it, it looks like they they have uh, the same style style of play. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you, you know how it is with the with our jail. What a shot by Amek. You know how it is with the Nigerians. You know, these people, uh, with Algerians, they don't like matches uh, full of Larrys and the likes. But I believe, I believe, I believe that um, if Amak is going to play in such kind of a manner, it's going to carry the day. You know, Godwin, because he has begun with unforced Ellers. Looking at it, that both uh, both players, all their teams, they are all depending on them. Knowing that if Nigeria wins this match, they are victorious. You know, and looking at it, if Algeria wins this match, they are still in the in the game. You know, so both players, you know, are dependent from their teams. You know, so trust me, it's gonna be very tough and full of names. Very tough game, this one, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. Amek is trying to dictate play. Yeah. Yeah, uh, unforced error. Unforced error by Amek. Yeah, indeed. The pressure is on is on him yeah 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 the pressure is on him you know godwin also he uh he's playing like there was some he was playing full of unforced healers you know he has come with unforced healers timoth what do you think about it do you think this game is full full of tension Roderick? yeah i think the players haven't settled yet in this game Yes, indeed. Yeah. 
The Algerians know they need to win this one. Yeah, so they have given a mark full of confidence that he needs, you know. The confidence that oh, that he needs or to just call it the day. I just love the never giving up uh, mindset by the Nigerians. Yeah. They will throw everything just to get what they want. Yeah. I think what the Nigerians need to do is to keep the, the shuttle in always. You know, as long as it's just within the court to keep the shuttle in. Yeah, because uh, Amek looks like he's... Uh, He's under pressure. Yeah, 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 indeed. Indeed, Timoth. It's not going to be easy, trust me. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. The game is full of tension now. Huh? Full of tension this Yeah, game. it has just really begun at a very high pace. On the other hand, uh, Fadila is uh, down by 8 points to 13. Yeah, uh, pretty shows you how much uh, South Africa wants to be back in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can basically tell. Though it's not going to be easy for... Fadela doesn't give up that easily. Yeah, you know? she's a fighter. Yeah. She's a fighter. I know the main singles. It's got to be all of uh, trending. It's seven each, Roderick. Yeah. Oh, he has made another point now. This is seven zero now. This game is going to be everything to fight for, Roderick. Yeah. If Nigeria wins this one, they win. Yes, indeed. If Algeria wins this one, they are in. Yeah, for doubles. yeah, 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 trust me, they are going for these singles because they know that if they win this single, they'll be declared victorious to be the new champions of Africa. New champions it is. You know, because Godwin also has pressure. He's trying to fight for everything, Godwin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He knows. He knows to say that. They depend on him. I'm so the pressure is all on him. And that was the house shuttle that he just eated there. You know, a clear shot. That was the house shuttle. Oh, that was quite good. What a good recovery. On the other court, uh, it looks like Joanita is taking in the first game against Fadila. Yeah, indeed. She, she indeed, came in, into indeed. this game prepared uh, well. Yeah, uh, yeah. She looks uh, strong. She looks dedicated. Uh, she wants to see her country uh, in for more competition. Yeah. Yeah, and Godwin is leading by 11 points to 9. 11 points to 9, it a is, two Roderick. points difference. And on the other court, Fadila has lost the first set. She has lost the first set. Joanita has carried the first set. What do you think? Do you think Fadila is going to come back? I think the, the message has been clear uh, from the South African coach uh, on how Joanita is supposed to play in order for her to, to get this game. Yeah, and it yeah. clearly shows uh, Joanita uh, gets the first game 
2111, uh, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's not going to be easy for the Ugandans again to come back on this game, but it's not going to be easy again at the same time for the South Africans to call it a 2-0 on Fedila. Fedila is a very tough young lady. Trust me, she's going to come back. On this let's see. She's uh, going to come back, and trust me, the second set between uh, Joanita and Fedila, the second set, trust me, is unpredictable. Let's see what the coach, the Ugandan coach, is going to communicate to Fadila in order, f in order for her to get the second set. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah, uh, it 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 uh, looks tough. It's not gonna be an easy game. Uh, but let's see what uh, what the communication has been to Fadila. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, even the the South African Joanita won't take it easy won't take it light in that she knows she needs to the only option is to get this game Roderick. yes indeed you know and uh, on the other side on the main singles it's 11 up now i make his back 11 each it is. yes it's 11 up now both players are trying to fight for this game Roderick. yeah indeed what a good smash by Amek. Unforced error by Amek. Yeah, yeah, it's two of each now. Yeah, it's these these unforced each. errors are are making uh, Amek lose a lot of points, Roderick. And trust me, if there's one thing that Godwin needs to do, if he wants to carry the day, according to the way the play is is going from the way it go, he needs to put the shuttle always inside, as long as it's within the court. You know, the the errors will be made. By you know, him. because yeah, yeah, I make it appears to me that he wants to make fast points. You know, so if Godwin is not careful, trust me, he's gonna lose this match. He needs to calm down. Yeah, he needs to calm down and put and everything within the court. And I don't even know why he's playing that 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 clear shot because he's Every time he plays a shot, Amek is attacking every shot. Exactly. You know, that close drop that is blocking, you know, is always giving him points. So he, he has kept on utilizing it. What a good cross court smash by Godwin. Yeah, indeed. If Godwin really wants to carry the day, he's gonna he needs to make Amex to move around the court. Not like that. You know, yeah, Uganda, uh, on the other side, Uganda is, is trending. Oh, what a match, what a match between these young girls, uh, between Joanita and uh, Fedila. What a match. Yeah, pretty tough match, Roderick. Yeah, pretty indeed. Pretty tough match. Indeed. I think uh, Fadila needs to up her game uh, yeah. for her to win this one. It looks like uh, Joanita is uh, ready for everything that uh, Fadila is throwing on her. Yeah, indeed. I think she just needs to calm down. Because to me, it appears that uh, Juanita, she's able to anticipate the shots for, uh, from Fedila. Mm. 
That's true, Roderick. Joanita is dictating play, it seems. She's making Fadila move all around the court. Yeah, courts. yeah, 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 you know. It's not going to be easy for, for Fadila to call it the day. It's not going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy because, you know, uh, Joanita is, she's really anticipating almost each and every shot from Fadila. She looks ready for everything. Yeah. She looks and strong. She you know, looks very dedicated. energetic. She looks, you know, uh, yeah, she looks know. very energetic. Still in the game. It's clear she, she's here to bring back South Africa in the game. Good you know, shot by Shamika Fadila. Yeah. Indeed, and on the other side... She's fighting for every shot, Roderick. Yes, trust me. She's trust putting me. on a good fight. Yes, indeed, Timoth. Indeed. You know, and Ameka has made two unforced errors on the net. Could it be pressure? What do you think? What do you think, Timoth? Could it be pressure? Yeah, pressure is the mountain on Amek. So long as the game stays like this... Pressure will keep on mounting on Ame. Yeah. I wonder where Godwin is even going. <laughs> what a match. What a good what shot a by Yeah, Ame. what a what a very deceptive I shot. Think he had uh, he had already seen uh, Godwin going behind for, for the killer shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the shots that Amek has made, has, he has made them close shots. You know, he's placing the... Every time when the... Good yeah, he's, he's on the forehand shot. Good, he's going for a close shot. Yeah, if you see, he's trying to open up Godwin so that he creates a chance for himself. Yeah, uh, indeed. Hence his cross-court cross smashes. Yeah. Good yeah, play indeed. by Godwin. Wow, what a powerful smash full of venom. It is 18-17 and Godwin is leading. Yeah, it's 18-17 now. You know, this is where now all the players need to come down and let the placement do everything. Good cross mo cross court smash, Roderick. Yeah. I mean, it's not going for straight shots. It's if not you see, going for straight shots. If you see Roderick, uh, uh, he's trying to open up Godwin, trying to create his chances. So if you see, most of his smashes yeah. are cross court smashes because yes. he's trying to open up play by giving a, a straight uh, net drop, then cross smash. Yeah. He's playing in pattern. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Trust man, it's 18-0 now. It's, it's just three points away to both players. See the unforced Ella now. Pressure keeps on mounting, Rodri. Yeah, pressure keeps on mounting on Godwin. Especially that the, the game is going like this. Yeah. Pressure will keep on mounting. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now 1918. You, you see now, right? You see where everything's going now. So the pressure is really mounting little by little on Godwin. He's Looking at to now, it's 20. It's Amek leading now by 20 points to 18. Yeah, you can basically tell how everything's going to be done next. Yeah, he's trying to attack. Yeah. He closes up with the first game. Yeah. It's 1-0. Yeah. I make yeah. leading by one game to new. It has ended 21-18. Yes, it's Amek who has won the first set.
you know, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. Looking at it, that uh, on the other side, uh, Fedila looks to be very ha uh, happy and looks to be very into the game. You know, she looks to come back with with boldness, with full of strength. What a great match. What a great match between South Africa and Uganda. The women's singles. What a great match. What a great match. It's Joanita leading from the way it go. She has been leading from the way it go. What a shot. What a shot that was from Joanita. You know, to destabilize Fedila a little bit. You know, what a shot that was. What a shot that was. It's the men's singles. Second set between Amak from Algeria and uh, Godwin Olofua from Nigeria. This one, one love, Godwin is leading by a score to 2 nil. It's a fourth service. It's a fourth service from Amak. It's Godwin leading now by three points to one. If Godwin will continue with the same spirit, yeah, with the same spirit to keep on, to always be on in the lead, trust me, it's gonna carry this one. Yeah, it's pressure now on Amak. Godwin is leading by four scores to two. Four scores to two. And uh, this match is quite interesting and quite good. Such that both players are really doing all that they can to make sure that everything's done right and well. Tomorrow, this match that has just really, you know, is really happening uh, between uh, Amak and uh, Godwin. It's, it has come with full of things, you know, full of pace again, such that Godwin is leading by five points to two. He wants to fight through this game, Roderick. He's putting in a good fight. Yeah, they indeed. never give up these Nigerians. Yeah. Yeah, and on the other side, it's South Africa who has won. The match now is still due. Joanita brings back South Africa yeah. in the game. 
she has revived the South African from the teeth. The you hopes know. are still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hopes Let's see still there. what uh, they have in doubles. Yeah, what indeed. they will offer in doubles. Yeah. Good game it it was. Uh, it ends uh, 21-11, 21-14. Yes, indeed. And Joanita carries the day. That was. That, what a good match that was. Trust me, it was quite good. It was quite good, quite good. But still, as it stands, Uganda still stands on the advantage, knowing that if they win this double that is coming up, they are up as, as champions. Yeah, they need to fight uh, throughout. Yeah. Uh, they need to give in everything. It's not easy, this tournament, Roderick. Yeah, trust me. It's a pretty much tough tournament. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. Indeed, Timoth. And switching to the main singles here, where Godwin is leading. By seven points. You see, Roderick, they really, really want to get this one. They know Algeria is good in doubles. Yeah, yeah. So they want to just call it this one. Nigerians know Algerians are very good in doubles. So they really, really want to get this one at all costs. Yeah, yeah. But you can see uh, Amek is trying to fight back because uh, he knows if he gets this one, they're going to have a chance uh, yes. to come back strong in doubles. Yes, indeed. Good cross court smash. That's what I was trying to, to tell you about, Roderick. Yeah. yeah. If you see Amek's style of play, he's trying to open up Godwin. So he, he gives a straight drop and cross-court smash yeah. to open up the court. Yes, indeed. Same style of play. Yeah, yeah, just same style of play. But you know what I think? I think Godwin needs to uh, push himself more close to the net so that Amak doesn't really play close to the net. You know, because he's staying far away from the net such that he's, he's giving an opportunity to Amak to place the shuttles uh, on the net when, when so heavy feels like. He knows he's good in attack. You he's know, when trying to create... Feels like playing any shot. He's trying to, to create solid chances for himself. Yeah. And first error by Ahmed. Yeah. You know, I think Godwin needs to be patient and breathe. Pretty, pretty tough game this one, Roderick. Both players are giving in 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both the players are giving in all their level best. Trust me, trust me. And Godwin is, you know, he's trying to go for those. Uh, he's trying to go line. for the line, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so he's, he's been now pressured by uh, making unforced errors. Yeah. Another unforced error. You see, those deception shots from Amak is really like destabilizing uh, Godwin, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It appears to me that he hasn't really uh, be able to focus much on the shuttle. Because all those nations, every time when Amak really found the shuttle down, down there, he's really just placing him a very, uh, a very quite fantastic shot to just destabilize him, you know. I think it has been clear. See now, Godwin is making now unforced. 
Jonas is now a mark on the lead lady. I think the communication through his coaches. Um, no, you know, sometimes the, the, uh, the coaching can be quite fantastic, but it all depends with the player. If he wants to put everything in activeness, you know, if he really wants to put everything to consideration, it all depends on him. So you can, you can basically tell as far as we are able to see how the match is really flowing up. Here, the same can basically happen to them. They're able to see us coaches. And trust me, he's just really fascinated. Very tough opponent such that he has been forced to make those unforced errors, you know. It is 11-8. And Amek is still in front. Uh, dictating play as usual. Yeah. Indeed, indeed, dictating the play. They really, really want to come back into this game, these Algerians. Yeah, trust me. Yes, yes, yes. They really want to come back in the game. They really want to come back in the game for Venom, you know. Yeah. What a good cross court by Godwin. Yeah, He's now trying to to stay more calm on court. Yeah. I think one another unforced error, uh, Roderick. Yeah, trust me. He needs to commit himself close to the net, and he's going to make points. Trust me, because I'm at the way he's coming close to the net. Oh, trust me. You see what I was trying to, to talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good play by. And this is is now by Godwin. This is three points in consecutive. Yeah. It appears to me that Kamak is getting tired little by little. Godwin is now trying to keep the shuttle in the court. Yeah. But with the attack of Amek, you know, it won't be very, very simple for him to do so. Yeah, yeah, I think he needs to... Amek is giving a hard time to Godwin because yeah. he's attacking every shuttle that Godwin lifts. Yes, I think he needs to stop uh, closing the shots if he's not stable to smash. You know, because most of the smashes that he's smashing Godwin is not st stable that much. Such that when Amek really blocks it, he's really broken it into a close. Of which it's, it's, it is indeed putting Godwin in a very destabilized situation. It's yeah. love all. Oh. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Yeah, it's uh, their first doubles uh, between uh, Uganda and South Africa. Uh, it's 2-1 in total. Um, South Africa looking forward to come, come back into this game. And Uganda looking forward to win the, the, the game so they carry the day. Amek is coming, is coming back into, into the game with a lot of venom, Rod Roderick. Yeah, trust me, trust me. He's going to do... He's leading by 14, like he can, you know, 14 points to 12. Yeah. He's still dictating the, the second game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me. He's going to do everything that it takes 
because he knows to say that the team of his really depends on him you know especially this match what a dive unfortunately he couldn't get it yeah good placement by godwin huh? by godwin yeah, yeah that was a very good placement That was a very good placement. It looks like it's an energy suck, suck, sucking game, Roderick, this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trust me, trust me, trust me. This guy is a whole uh, energetic. You need to be time. physically fit to play in this tournament. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, he laid that shot. Yeah, yeah. He Good attacking shot. shot by Godwin. Yeah, yeah. He led that shot. And the points are 14-14. Fourteen, fourteen. Yeah, it's 14 all now. You know, who's, who's going to maintain it right is going to carry the day. Not too different to how the first game was going. Yeah, indeed. Good, good cover by Amek. Yeah, what a smash a, by Godwin. Very fantastic what a shot, powerful you know. smash. What a rally that these guys <laughs> have had, you know. <laughs> You know, this match is quite... It's an it's interesting quite match, Roderick. You know, <laughs> full of energy conservation. Yeah. Eh? Full of energy conservation, trust me. For somebody really to play this match is going to be very, very good, very intelligent, very physically fit. Trust me, it's not a match to just really throw away that easily. It's quite energy conservative. <laughs> energy conservating it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, it's not it's and not it's gonna be easy. It's gonna it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, with the defense of Amak, you know, trust me, it's really frustrating Godwin on 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 the other end. Especially that uh, they are tying up points yeah. each and every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hence the game uh, is full of pressure throughout. Yes. You know, I, I don't understand it's why... It's 15 up, Roderick. What, yes, <laughs> trust me, I don't understand why he's playing that shot. Because that shot, every time when the match puts it there... It's predictable. Trust he me. needs to change yeah, his style change of play. It. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Good straight smash by yeah, Godwin. What a, what a shot! What a shot from Godwin! What good a fight! Shot. Yeah, these players are putting up a very good fight, Roderick. Yeah, indeed, 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 Timothy. You know. Wow, what a pop! Another pop smash from Godwin. I think he has realized he needs to keep on attacking. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, it's on the edge. The game is on the edge. So trust me, he has no any other option but to be in the attacking mode if you want to take this set. You know, trust me, because it's not going to be easy for him to keep on playing the way he was playing from the wet goal if you want to take this match.
Yes, because Amak is tired. Amak is tired the way he's playing now. He's, he's playing as if maybe he has lost the game already. I you know, think, I think, uh, what do you think, Timothy? I think the switch, the switch in play uh, has, may, has destabilized uh, Amek a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know what to do next. Uh, uh, Godwin has uh, changed uh, the, star of play, the huh? game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just really putting the shuttle everywhere, everywhere. He doesn't want to be keep on to keep on smashing, smashing, because uh, the defense of Amek was destabilizing him one or the other. His force is. Uh, Godwin is forcing Amek to lift. Yeah. If you see, he's changed his style of play. He's more into attack now. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to get the game. He's trying to finish it off. Let's see what he holds. Yeah. You see, Roderick? Yeah, yeah. And it's all attacked by Godwin now. Yes, and trust me, I don't know what Godwin is thinking up there in the head because he's looking up to heaven for God to revive him. <laughs> what do you think on that one? You know, this is quite good and interesting. No, I think he's read his opponent. Yeah. Uh, he's read his opponent and uh, he knows he needs to keep on attacking. Yes, yeah. see, see the sign just only God knows. And first error by Ahmed. <laughs> trust me, Timoth, trust me, this is quite good. You know, and Nigeria is up there now. It's 20, right? The change in game plan by Godwin has earned him a lot of points. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, it's Nigeria has won the second set. This is 1-1 one, one now. Nigeria back into the game. Yeah, Godwin wins the second set. And believe me, with the physicality of the Nigerians, if Amat is going to survive this one, it will be another story. It will be a story to tell. It will be really remarkable. I think if you look at this game, Roderick, uh, yeah. Godwin had to read the game at uh, 18 each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he had to read the game. Uh, and um, his, his change of... Uh, game plan destabilized Amek. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah, indeed. To me, Amek looks tired. Trust me. To me, it looks tired. Because even the pace has changed. The yeah, pace in, in terms of the physicality, I think Nigeria are more, more stronger. More right? stronger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Timoth, yes. You are right on that one. They keep on fighting these guys. <laughs> they yeah. never give up. Yes, yes. On the other court, uh, South Africa is leading by 13 points to 11. They look uh, confident now, uh, coming, coming back into, into this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. They look very energetic, you know, very confident. I think this South African doubles player has got uh, a lot of experience coming into this game. Yeah, yeah. They are fighting for every point. They yeah. try, they're trying to wrap up the game. It's 15-11, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, Timoth. See? They are able to anticipate the shots of the Ugandans. Good shot by Akamans. Good reading of the shot. Yeah, she was able to anticipate the, the Definitely, shot. definitely. You know, she was on it even before. <laughs> See the damages. See the damage. <laughs> See the damages. They are able to anticipate the shots where the Ugandans will place the shot. They are, they, are, they are on them just. We know the South Africans that they are good when it comes to doubles. They are Very good. good. Uh, this pair is. Uh, has, they, they have been playing together for so long. For huh? so long, and they know yeah. each other. So I believe uh, they come into this game. Uh, they pretty. They pretty much have confidence uh, to, take on, to take on the Ugandans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the other court, it's back. Yeah, on mm. court one now, it's back. The main singles. Uh, it's Godwin now leading by a score to nil.
good control by Godwin. Yeah, he's relaxed now. Yeah, he yeah. knows he he know he knows what what he's doing at this point of the game. Yeah, he's relaxed now. You know, like that. That's how you play. With, that's how you play with Amat. You don't play with uh, the press is also up there. You need to just keep on that, making sure that everything is just within the court. Pretty pretty tough game this one, Roderick. Pretty tough game. Yeah. You can see the the players are tiring off, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. The level of energy, the level of uh, you know, and Amike has been caught fault service and is frustrated. See the way he has just hit the shuttle. The third third is full of knaves. Yes, it's a yellow card. You know, he has really misbehaved to most. What do you think? I think he needs to remain calm in this game. Yeah, if yeah. you want to take this set, he needs to calm down. He needs to calm down. He needs to relax. <laughs> it's Nigeria now reading by three points to one. Amek is trying to take this game quickly, which is not working for him. Yeah. The quick play by Amek. Quick play by yeah, Amek. He really anticipated almost every shot that Godin was playing. Wow, good cross court by Amek. I think uh, if you look at this game, Amek has um, uh, changed his uh, style of play. He's play playing a, a bit uh, Quick. Qu faster than yeah, he played yeah. the, 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 the previous game. Yeah, yeah. You know, it seems to me that he's back with a play that he had to play in the first set. You know, full of deceptions. Yeah, full of deceptions and. Uh, little bit faster yeah he's trying to destabilize uh Godwin. Godwin, yeah. yeah good shot by Godwin yeah indeed These guys are really putting in everything. You know, it has really. Uh, I've started worrying now while Godwin. He knows to say that Amek is coming on the, uh, in flank very quickly. I don't know why he's not sometimes changing to a, a flick service. The frequently changing game is uh, <laughs> destabilizing uh, players here. <laughs> yeah. You see, Am Amek has uh, changed his style of play. He's now playing quicker than he played uh, the yes, previous Yes, he game. knows to say that. That's the only way he can put the pressure on Godwin. Not when he's calm and relaxed. When you're slow with the Nigerians, trust me, you won't make it. It's 7-4 and Amek uh, takes the lead. Yeah. Good cross court by Godwin. You know, Hamak is tired. Godwin is ju just needs to co be controlling everything. It's an energy uh, sucking game by Amek and Godwin. Both players look uh, tired now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they Just need to focus. Uh, energy to conservating now. They need to focus uh, to who will win the game. Yeah.
Trust me, I make it tired. It's tired. And both players appear to be kind of tired to me. <laughs> they appear tired to me. The experienced South Africans have taken the first the, the first, first set, set uh, of the doubles, yeah, and uh, appearing to dic to dictate the second set. Yes, trust me, trust me. What a tight game by Amek and Godwin. Yes, yes. See how quick he was to go flat. I think the, the change in speed, Roderick, the change in speed is helping Amek a lot because he's uh, winning most of the points when he's uh, a little he's bit quick. quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Godwin, the best thing that he can do now is to uh, to be playing a close drop if he has to broke the smash. And he's to place it close. See, and the clear is not even reaching on the first line. From the back line, no. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Too short. Amek is trying to play a fast game. Yeah. And it's uh, destabilizing Godwin. Yeah, indeed, 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 indeed. Trust me, it's not. It's ten be seven easy. now. Yeah. And Amek is in the lead. Good shot by Godwin. Yeah, yeah. He read that that shot. Yeah, trust me. No deception. You know, you need to put his focus. The high is on the shuttle. It's eight ten. Yeah. Both players look tired, Roderick. Yeah, trust me, they <laughs> both look tired. It has been an, uh, an energy sucking game, Roderick. Yes, indeed. I think Godwin, the person Anna he can do is another to error by Godwin. Stop those uh, deceptions because Amek is not they're moving by any means. So and they're not working play. out for him. Yes, trust me. So it's just better play something straight or something just direct to make sure that uh, he stabilizes himself. Dictating play by the South Africans in the ladies' doubles. Yeah, it appears to me that there's gonna call it a day on this game again. They are so experienced, these South Africans, Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to doubles, they are well experienced. Nevertheless, uh, the Ugandans are pr putting up a pretty good fight. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, but the South Africans, they are very, very, very bold. They are very confident when it comes to doubles, especially this, this pair. You know, this pair is quite good. It's 10-7. 
South Africa 10 and Uganda 7. Godwin fighting his way through. It's now 9 11. Yeah, yeah, he's fighting all the way through. You know. Changing pace by Godwin. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to play a little bit faster. Yeah. Especially going flank. If he's gonna carry the day, trust me, everything needs to be put on Amek if he has to carry the day. You know, but if going to to play very comfortable, whereas Amek with the brace and the powerful smashes on him, trust me. It's gonna be just a history for Nigeria. Godwin looks uh, more dedicated now. He really wants to get this game for his team. And forced error by Godwin. Yeah, 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 yeah. The game is quite good and it's quite energy conservative. <laughs> Looking at the movement that the players are just really making, you can basically tell to say that, oh, sh they're really tired. Else. They're yeah. really tired at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Good cross court smash by Godwin. Yeah, I think this is what Godwin. he needs to be doing. Yeah, he needs yeah. to attack more to get more points. Yeah. If yeah. you notice, if he attacks, uh, he's getting more points. Yeah, yes, he's especially attacked. When the attack that is making is way stable, you know, when he's stable in the movement, trust me, he's making points. Pressure mounting on both players yeah. as they settle for 12 each. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, what a shot! What a <laughs> what a shot from Godwin! Though it's out, <laughs> it goes out. Uh, yeah, in favor Amek, of he laid Amek. that one. He laid that one. You know the players look tired to me. Trust me, they look tired to me. They are really tired, uh, Rodri. Yeah, uh, yeah, if you yeah. look at this game. Uh, uh, the players uh, have used a lot of energy. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and coming indeed. to the third set, uh, it's still uh, 13 up, uh, which yeah, tells a big story oh. about where they come from. Yeah. You see what I was talking about? Good prediction that is shot what I was by Ame. Yeah. Well, that was a very <laughs> quick response that he gave back to Godwin, you know, because he knew what Godwin was all about. What he wanted to Good do change in pace. Net. Good yes. change in pace. Make it quick when it comes to net. You see what he's doing now. You see what he's doing. His rest really is really changing. You know, he drop um, a short service and then he freaks again so that to destabilize Godwin in not knowing what is what he's going to do next. But I wonder why Godwin is not doing the same. Maybe he's, just, he's scared of uh, uh, Amek's attack. What do you think? I think he's just scared of Amek's attack because he's falling all the powerful smashes on him. Uh, he's not, Godwin has noticed Amek is, uh, is pretty fast uh, up in the he air. Yeah. So uh, he's becoming clinical. Yeah, he's trying to. Yeah, he's 14 up now. <laughs>
is Godwin now? It's a leading? pressure game, Roderick. Yeah, trust me. Good lift by Amek. Yeah, that was a really good, yeah. uh, really good. Uh, lift. You, you know, he, he really wants to make quick points. Good, you know, so he's under pressure. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> he's also he also wants to make quick points. At this point, players need to remain calm. Yeah, trust me. It's just all about shuttle control. And it's difficult to remain calm when you're very tired. You know. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. The names are all up high. Yeah, yeah. It's 16-15. Yeah, trust me, this match is quite good and energy conservating. Energy con conservating match yeah, it is. Yeah, it's quite good and energy conservating, especially looking at the fact that um, both players are on hit. They really want to carry the day. They really want to carry the match. So it doesn't really matter on whom. You know, it's all about who is going to carry. And pressure, pressure will continue mounting so long mounting. as the game stays like this. Yeah, trust me. Good patient play by both players. Yeah, trust me. And Namek is just trying to control everything. You get the good stretch right? smash by Ahmed. Yeah, it's, it, to me it appears like he's trying to look for an opportunity. Yes, he's just trying to look for an opportunity. It just looks short, you know, because every time it's like, it all appears to me like Amak is controlling the game. You know, he's dictating the play such that every time when he keep on pushing, pushing Godwin, at the end of time, he's going to score. You know, yeah, but Godwin needs to open his eyes. We understand that at this point the names for the players are all half high. <laughs> So he needs to be putting everything that he can, you know. Definitely, Roderick. Definitely. Is Amak leading now? It's 17 16. Yeah, it's 17 16. So four points away. If the game continues like this, pressure will continue Trust mounting me, between won't both take players. It, won't, won't take the match if the pressure really keeps on mounting like this. Good control. Good lift by Godwin. Yeah, indeed. Good straight smash, good follow up, no, but unfortunately he hit the net. There. They would have just pressed the, a cross job. See, the pressure is now mounting and Amek was very tired. You know, Amek was very tired and he was down. You know, at this point the players, all the players, both Amak and Godwin needs to keep their instincts, needs to keep their emotions low. You know, because this match is, is just something else, trust me, trust me. Trust me, this match is all that we need to watch. Yeah, good follow-up by Godwin, but unfortunately, he hit the net. Yeah, and on the and other side, the Ugandans have lost. They have lost. It's now 2-2. Two -two. It's two now 2-2. It yes, it's 2-2 two -two now. So the South Africans me. are pretty good in doubles, especially... Yes, when it comes to double sparing, trust me, they are the best. This pair is... Uh, the South African uh, women's doubles pair is... Uh, one of the experienced in Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming you can back. tell by the scores, 21-14, uh, 21-15. Yeah. They're back in the game, Roderick. Yeah, back in the game. Yeah, now. and I'm it's a tie. Um, 18. They need 16. to... Uh, either, either team that wins the, the, the last game carries the day, Roderick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Back onto the Nigeria Algeria game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 1916 now. It's 1916 now. Yes, Amak is leading. Amak is leading. He's just two points away. 
He's just two points away. Two, point aw- two points away from Victory Rodri. Yeah, indeed. See, that was the very task I'm short from Godwin. At this point, at this point, all Amek is thinking is to wrap the game, to finish it off. He's tired, he's tired. That's why he just wants to finish everything very quickly so that the pressure doesn't keep on mounting on him. You know, at this time, he will just control everything. You know, and according to the body movement of Godwin, looks to me like... Good defense by Amik. Yes, indeed. The players are tired, trust me. The and players Amik are tired. The players wins are tired. The game. Yeah, the Algerians are back in the game, Timoth. 21 18, 16 21. 21-16. You know, the Algerians are back in and the, the game. The Algerians are back, they in, are the back game. in the game. They are back in the game. What a good game by both players, Rodri. Yeah, what a match that was. What a match that was. Yeah. What a match that was. And now it's 2-1 in overall. In overall, it's 2-1. What a match, what a match. And Amak has won the match. Amak has won the match. It was a very quite tiresome match. That these guys really, uh, really played. It was a very good and great match, Timoth. What's it's your comment on this one? What's your take? It was a pretty good game, Roderick. Yeah. Energy sucking game. Uh, full of um, energy, this game. Yeah, yeah. Full yeah. of dedication. You can yes. tell uh, both players came in this game with a mentality of winning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hence the scoreline, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Indeed, Timo. What a match it was. They decide a match between South Africa and Uganda. It's going to be an interesting game, this one. Whoever wins this game 
wins the tournament. Let's see what both teams are, are going to offer. And on the and, and on, the, on the other side, it's uh, Nigeria versus Algeria. Uh, men's uh, doubles. What a comeback by Algeria in this uh, game. And they will be hoping they win their second doubles match yeah, to make the points uh, tally. Algerians know they are pretty good in doubles. Uh, the likes of uh, Sabri, Madeo, and uh, Belabi are pretty experienced coming into this game. But we'll see what uh, the, the, the young Nigerians uh, will bring on the table. The dedicated victor, the never giving up Nigeria team versus the experienced Algerian team. On the other court, it's South Africa to, to receive at Love O. It's gonna be a navy game. Both teams know this is their last game, so they need to put in everything to win the game. This game is all about knowing your strengths. It's a team event. So you have to balance up uh, singles and doubles. So they are 2-2 two -two coming into this game, South Africa and Uganda. South Africa won their first two, Uganda won their first two, two singles matches. And South Africa won one single and one double. Now South Africa is dictating play. Uh, uh, they're trying to move the shuttle around the court. And it seems Uganda is just returning uh, without placement. 
and they seem under pressure in this game. It is 7 2. On the men's doubles, uh, it is Nigeria versus uh, Algeria. What a shot by the experienced Sabri Medel. Yeah, he really anticipated that one. He really anticipated that one. Good cross court by Nigeria. And when you look at it, Timot, the, the Algerians look to me to be, appear to be, appear to me to be like um, the, the more experienced, you know. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of double pairing. See the placement from Medel. No, yeah, good placement by Medel. Yeah, indeed. It's the most experienced versus the most dedicated team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigeria look look confident though. Yes, indeed. With their powerful smashes. Looks like uh, Sab Sabri has come back stronger in the, in the doubles game, Roderick. Yeah. Indeed, Timoth, because you wouldn't want really to to lose even this match, especially knowing the fact that um, he lost uh, the, the singles. You know, the main singles he lost. He, look, he looks more composed in doubles, Roderick. Yeah, yeah this is his speciality. Yeah, man. This is his, this is his speciality. Oh, and the racket snaps. Yeah, this is his speciality. You know, so uh, the best he can do, trust me, you are yet seeing what he can do. Yeah, you let's let's wait and see. He can do. See, that's a good shot give by Sabri Medel. Yeah, he looks you more composed in doubles. Yes, Rodriguez. yes, yes. You can't give Medel there. On the other hand, the South Africans are dictating play. Um, they are pretty good in doubles, these South Africans. Really. Yes, when it comes to doubles, that that's their that's their speciality. It's doubles, you know. And if the Ugandans really lose this one, they are out. South Africa, and they'll be cloud champions. Definitely. Yeah, and. To me, they look to be more experienced. More experienced, but the Ugandans won't uh, give it all. They are fighting for everything. <laughs> the experience of uh, uh, Sabri Madal. Yeah. And Belabi in doubles is uh, simply showing off. Yeah, indeed, Timoth. Indeed, Timoth. Um, I think the best thing that they can that they can do, these guys, is to just to go in with uh, with power. You know, to go in just with uh, holding nothing. You know, but uh, placement and determination. You know, I think they will definitely make it. But if they will continue appearing to be kind of like fiercy, like fiery rather, you know, trust me, it's going to be a different story for the Nigerians. A doubles match is, uh, is good when uh, both players have got a good chemistry in doubles, you know. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. That's why these uh, uh, Algerians they look more clinical in this game because um, uh, they pretty much have experience, uh, more experience than the Nigerian guys yeah, in terms yeah. of doubles. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Indeed, because you can basically tell from uh, from just the placement of the shots, you can be able to tell to say that uh, it's not easy for the Nigerians to kind of like play doubles. Uh, this pair against the other pair for the Algerians. Looking they at they definitely knew that uh, if they come back in the game, uh, they are gonna give. Uh, uh, Nigeria a good game because they yeah. know they are good in doubles. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. And that's what I'm saying. If these people can just be really come in with boldness, trust me, they can put the Nigerians. Chances are there, Roderick. Yeah. Despite them really uh, looking small on the court, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> They can pull through. The pressure is now on the Nigerians, Roderick. Yeah, 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 indeed. Good defense by Sabri Medal. Yeah. Good shot by the Nigerians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Nigerians that get the experience. What a shot that what a shot that was from the Nigerians. What a shot that was. Yeah, that was quite good. It's 13 all, Roderick. Yes, indeed. indeed Definitely, they are, they are. They have come back in this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they need to keep focus. Yeah, they just they, they have to remain focused if they want to pull through. You know, they need to remain very focused. But I with such kind of errors, trust me. Trust me, it's gonna be a different story. I just love the de the dedication and hard work uh, being displayed by these Nigerians. Unforced error by Victor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, looking at it, the on the other side. You know, uh, the Ugandans, they have lost the first set. South Africa seems yeah, to dedicate uh, everything into this game. Yeah, they are dictating yeah. play, they are more focused. Um, they look in front, Roderick. Yes, they really me. want to win this game. And if they win it, they win the tournament. Yes, yes, indeed. If they win this, they win the tournament. So trust me, this game is everything. It's everything. Trust me, it's everything. They just have to pull up their stockings. If you look at the scholar in Roderick, 21-13, it tells you um, Uganda needs to work extra hard for them to come back into this game. Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. It's 17 each on the other side? Yes. It's now 18-17. Oh. 
It's quite a tight game, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe I wasn't me. expecting the Nigerians to to play like this. They are playing very well, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. that, uh, it's a. It seems uh, this is a new uh, Nigerian doubles pair. Yes. I wasn't expecting them to to play like this against the experienced Algerians. Yeah, indeed. Good shot. Good defense. Yeah, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Look trust at me. how dedicated they are, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are leading now by 1917. And you can tell that uh, to win a game is not ab about experience, but uh, it's about hard work and dedication. Yeah. What a, what, what a shot by Victor! What a shot on the middle that was! This Did guy has got guy? energy. Know, was, that was, was really a very powerful, powerful smash. You know, and quick. <laughs> you know, it was really, it was really being pressed very fast. That's that. You, I wasn't even able to <laughs> see it clearly. <laughs> Trust me, that was a very powerful smash from the Nigerians. So focused and dedicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those Algerians, they look relaxed. Eighteen twenty are the scores. Uh, yeah, indeed, eighteen twenty. The pressure now mounts to both players, especially the Algerians, knowing that they are trending. You see what, what I was talking shorts. about? Yeah, the yeah. The pressure now keeps on mounting. <laughs> it's nineteen twenty. Yeah, it's nineteen twenty. You see now it's 20 oh. by Nigeria. Is 20 oh my oh god. You, 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 you get the sense? Yeah. It's now this this is now experience now. It's all about experience now. Wow, what a shot that was. What a by shot Victor. by Victor. Yeah indeed. Very quick and powerful, you know, that was, what a shot that was. I think he, he anticipated for that one, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, he was really going in with full of uh, power. It's 21-0. Yeah, yeah, and pressure did. keeps on mounting. Uh, yeah, and if the Algerians <laughs> score, trust me, they will win. If the Algerians score, trust me, they will win. It's How did you see that one? That was ah, it, looked, it looked so tight, Roderick. Yeah, it, it was a so to tight. me, Timon. It was a hard to me. It was a hard to me, trust me. It was a hard to me. I saw it to be hard. <laughs> but when the, um, when the judge really say it, trust me, there's nothing that you can do about it. It's yeah. a point for Nigeria, Rodney. Yes, yes, yes. They are fought for it. You know, but um, it's really good that uh, the line just got in. Yeah. It's really good that uh, it's 22 up now. It's 22 up. 20 up. What a smash by Medal. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Indeed. It's Algerians in flight now leading by 23-22. Pressure mounting on the Nigerians. And it's the Algerians take the, the first Algerians game. have taken the first set. Yeah, what a match that was. In short, what a set that was, Timoth. Trust me. Trust me. And the South Africans on the other side, they are doing everything that they can to keep, you know, uh, the Ugandans foggy so that they can't even think of any clear thought to go about the game. You know, it's, it's all about the South Africans now dictating play and leading. Their you coordination, know, 
It's quite looks good. Looks better you know. than the Ugandan. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. But Indeed. I can tell you, Roderick, these Ugandans will never give up. They will keep on fighting till the last point. That's the heart of everybody who's in sport. Trust me, that's the heart that everybody needs to have. To keep on fighting till the it's last point. It's 11-9. Yeah. Just really gone on the interval. They're on interval at the moment. You know, um, the Ugandans are trending. Yeah, they're trending. Uh, the South Africans are leading by 11 scores to 9. What a game, Roderick. What a game. What a game this Indeed. is. Indeed. What a game it has been from the way it go. All the matches have been really quite um, interesting, quite good. It's everybody that uh, it's everything that we basically need to watch, and uh, I believe it will be even good for the spectators also to watch such kind of amazing uh, games being played. You know, it's quite good, and yeah, with, with such competition, why not? Uh, I think uh, everyone around the world is watching. Yeah, such yeah, com yeah. such competition, Roderick. Indeed, indeed, Timoth. Indeed. What a final it has been. <laughs> indeed. What a rally. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It's the South African still on the lead. It's the patience and dedication yeah. by the South Africa that keeps them going. Yeah. And the men's doubles are back. Yeah. It's new, new now. They are back. Tight game by South Africa, uh, by Algeria and Nigeria here. Yeah. Indeed, it has been a great match and it has been uh, an amazing match, uh, Timo, such that uh, they have really fought to the last breath. You know, they have really fought um, a great match, these Nigerians and uh, these uh, Algerians, trust me. Uh, both teams are putting in the best. Yeah. yeah. They are putting on all the efforts that they can. And forced error by Victor. Yeah, he wasn't really expecting that. He thought maybe he scored. You know, but unfortunately, like I even told you uh, from the beginning, that Medeo can play shots that you don't expect him to play. You know. Yeah, because he's very experienced. He's yeah, an experienced yeah, doubles player, yeah. Roderick. Yes. And um, four stereo by Sabri. I don't know where he was even going. This Victor. Because he kept on lifting. Minus not knowing the fact that he's placing the lift to a very tall person. And on the other side, Timoth, trust me, trust me, the women's doubles, you know, uh, the South Africans, they are on the lead. They are still on the lead. They have maintained the lead and they are extending it. They look so confident about it, Roderick. Yeah. They came in this game strong and uh, I think reaching this far, they know what they are doing. Yeah, with the They're positive in control mentality, of the yeah. game. Indeed, they are still in the lead. 
The Ugandans are, are still trending. Coming back slowly, these Ugandans. It's 15 18 now. Coming back on the other game, uh, the Algerians look more clinical now. Yeah. They look, uh, they, they seem as though they have settled in this game. Yeah, and they want to settle for a win, Roderick. Yes, indeed. They're in control of the game. Yes, indeed, 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 Timo. Trust me. But the Nigerians won't just give up, trust me. No. <laughs> they will keep on fighting till the end of the game, give up Roderick. Because that's the heart. They shouldn't really give up. That's the heart. They should keep on fighting. Keep on fighting till the last breath. Trust Good me. shot. Good shot by the Nigerians. Yeah. It's 9-5. It's a tight game, Rodri, between Nigeria and Algeria. Yes, indeed, 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 indeed. Algeria is catching up, huh? Slowly, slowly, it's catching up. On the other end, it's 17-20, South Africa leading. Uh, it's one game point. Eighteen twenty now. Pressure is is mounting. Yeah, pressure is mounting on the Ugandans. You know, knowing that they are trending. So. Uh, yeah, it's South Africans who has won the and South women's Africa has team won you know. the women's team Yeah, championship. they have won the South Africans. They have won. You know. It's quite good. You can this see the joy. Yeah, this is quite interesting. They really watch, worked you know. hard for this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and back here on the main singles, it's the Nigerians 11. They are on interval now. Nigerians 11, they're the one leading. They've come back strong, Roderick. Yeah, trust They me. never give up, these guys. Yes, yes, they don't indeed. It's 11 8. Yeah, because trust me, they also want to win this game because they know to say they, they win this match. They are through to be. Uh, they, they, they will be the winners. Yes, indeed. So, so dedicated these Nigerians, so. Roderick. Yeah, yeah. You can see how they are bringing this game. Their focus, their hard work uh, on court, uh, their determination uh, speaks voices, Roderick. Yes, indeed, my friend, indeed. indeed. They, are, they are doing everything that they can to make sure that everything has been put right, so that everything is just okay. I love the never giving up attitude uh, from the Nigerian. From the Nigerian, this young yeah. man Victor. If you watched his singles yesterday, he dedicated himself. He played so well, and uh, he won the game, bringing yeah. back Nigeria in the game. And yes. uh, Nigeria came back to win uh, uh, three-two on aggregate. Oh, against Egypt. Against Egypt, yeah. yeah they played very well. Eleven twelve and the pressure will keep on mounting Roderick. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I don't even know why this uh this guy is not going down when playing a flat a flat shot. He was supposed to go down so that he can be able to cast a f uh the flat shot on time. You know, but he's do he's not doing all that and the pressure is still on them. 
the, the quick attack by the Algerians is giving uh, Nigeria a hard time, time right? Roger. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They're having a really hard time for them to just really conquer the Algerians with their flash push. You know, but they need to cap to be capitalizing in the mi these mistakes of the Algerians if you want to pull through. Yeah, the game is still tight and it can go either way. Yeah, indeed. the Nigerians leading. Unforced error by Nigeria. Yeah. You, 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 you can't give really such a shot. That was a very reckless shot, you know. It was a loose shot, yeah. Yeah, indeed. That is pressure. That is pressure now. And it's up. Good uh, cross court by Victor. Yeah, and it indeed. takes them to 16 15. M pressure is mounting on this game, Roderick. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. The, the pressure is really. Yeah, the pressure is really mounting uh, on the Nigerians. Yeah, knowing that he's still up now. Yeah, the pressure is mounting, mounting on them. Looking at it generally. So we can basically tell. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. See the fight from the from the Nigerians and the Algerians. See the fight. What do you think, Timon? Good fight. What a shot uh, by the Algerians. Uh, they, they they are trying to to wrap up the game, Roderick. Yes, indeed. They wanna take it, take this set as well. They wanna win a two straight. They don't wanna do do something to do with a um, definite a two straight would do them good and that's what they will basically want is to do a two straight you know so that they don't get to have a a chance give a chance to the Algerians Now we are switching on to, to the interview between uh, um, South Africa. They they just Champions won the, 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 uh, the, team's final. the women's team championship. <laughs> I don't think we have any words. It's indescribable. Um, we fell short every time we'd make it to semi-finals and then we'd end getting the bronze medal match. Um, indescribable. The girls gave their all. We're just incredibly happy to have won. Well, I just need to say from the start, I said we had a unity in our team, and I think today we proved that. So, very satisfied. No, we're feeling amazing and we're excited for what's coming next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you came so close, you had the five matches before you could win the match. Do you think you made the right combination to win, or there is something else you could have done? We definitely played our strongest team at the end of the day. I mean, like strongest combinations we put out there and if we didn't bring home gold then yeah but we did so <laughs> thank goodness what are your goals for uh, your finals in China? I think we're most excited for the food <laughs> <laughs> but um, we as a team are very excited and proud of ourselves that we actually reached the goal we set out for ourselves so I think we're gonna come with our aim game and the Europeans should watch out. Kind of, kind of measure our performance against on that platform against um, world champions. Yeah. Actually, thank, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.
congratulations to Algeria for winning their uh, their uh, first doubles match, uh, which takes them 2-2 uh, against Nigeria. So the winner of the the last doubles match uh, uh, wins uh, the men's uh, team championship. Uh, our match commentator Timothy Kafunda and uh, Roderick uh, Monsa we say goodbye for now. Join us live in commentary, the match between uh, 
Algeria and Nigeria. Back in comment, ba back uh, in commentary is uh, I, Kafunda Timothy, and Roderick Mwansa. It's gonna be a tough match, Roderick. It's gonna be a tough match, especially knowing that it's a deciding game, not so. Yeah, knowing that whoever wins this game wins the men's team championship. Yeah, indeed, indeed. It's gonna be really tough and hard on uh, both teams. The experienced Algerian Again. team in doubles versus the stubborn Nigerian team yeah, who never gives up. Yeah. Anu and Godwin have not played the doubles for a long time now. Uh, which makes uh, Algeria, the Algerian team more clinical and more experienced than um, the Nigerian team. But we see what uh, both teams um, hold for us, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a tough game, this one. Yeah, it is gonna be a match that is going to be full of, uh, I believe, of emotions, and it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy. Trust me. It's especially not the fact that it's a, it's a decided game. quite good and interesting I can tell if they are to win both teams need to fight yeah if any of the uh, the teams needs to carry the day trust me they want to do their level best despite the fact that uh, Algeria is the most uh, experienced uh, team in this uh, uh, doubles event uh, uh, Nigeria are also dedicated and strong you they're know also experienced because they've been playing doubles for quite some time for so long i uh, know and, and godwin and, uh, godwin they have been playing doubles together for from the way go since this these guys really came in uh in the system they've been playing doubles together so they are they are also experienced because they have been they are also considered to be uh the strong holds of nigeria in terms of doubles so trust me trust me it's going to be just really good It will be about putting up a good fight, more dedication, more hard work, more focus, more determination. Yeah. Let's see what uh, both teams will, 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 offer. will offer. You know, yeah. Mamari coming in with uh, Amek. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's about one one point eight meters tall. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> you know. So, the better just really very uh, good in defense. Uh, very good yeah. in doubles. Yeah, very more good in, in doubles time. than singles. Yeah. I think we're going to see more of him in this doubles match than uh, the way he played his singles match. Yeah. Because I believe he's more dedicated in doubles. He's more strong in doubles than singles. Yeah, yeah, indeed. On the other hand, uh, Anu Opiori. A very strong player in attack. Yeah, indeed. He's a very strong player in attack. Uh, and a very good combination with him and uh, Godwin. Yeah, they have made a very strong uh, bond, I can say, uh, due to better teams. For now, we say the best that. player carries the, the the best team carries the day. Yeah, yeah. trust me, Timos. Trust me. It's, it's the best against the best. So, uh, it's... It's, it's the team now that is going to uh, just uh, play well 
and score more points that are going to Kaliza Day. Because Definitely. Like I sa- said, even in the beginning, I said earlier to say that it's, now, it's, all, it's not all about who is who, but it's all about who is going to be uh, declared victorious at the end of it all. Definitely. It's all about who are the champions of Africa in terms of team event. Definitely, so Roderick. I believe both parties, both teams, they are going to put in their level best no matter what. Because they know to say that their teams, both both parties, they depend on them. So trust me, they're going to pu- uh, push push to the w- one between the two teams. Trust me. Trust me. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Nigeria want, wants to secure their back-to-back win, whilst Nigeria wants to win the, the championship. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Indeed, Timoth. It's now Algeria 7. Service fort. Good attacking tap by Godwin, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, it's Nigeria now leading by two points. By three, three points. It's Nigeria leading. They look dedicated, Roderick. Yeah, they know what they're up to. <laughs> they know what they're up to, Timoth. <laughs> what a loose shot. What a loose shot by Godwin, yeah. yeah. What a good control by the Algerians. Yeah, indeed. And good indeed. attack by Mamari. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Indeed, Timoth. You know, they are playing quite good. They are playing quite good. It's going to be a tight game, Roderick. Yeah, believe me. Believe me. They need to put their heads in this game, Roderick. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to uh, both teams, they need to do. They need to do all that they can. It's three five in, in yeah. favor of Algeria. In favor of Nigeria. Nigeria yeah. Sorry. Service fort. Yes, it's a long court. Good shot by Mamari. Yeah, indeed. When this guy is on the net, you know, it's really, it's really good. It's he, really he, good makes sim- yeah, he makes everything look simple, Roderick, yeah, this guy. Yeah. He's quite tall. He's about 1.8 meters. Yeah, he's tall, he's tall, you know, so it becomes very <laughs> difficult for the shuttle when you place it to just really pass him. Unforced error by yeah, Anu. Unforced errors. You can tell that uh, the, the game hasn't settled, Roderick. Yeah. If you look at both uh, teams, uh, 
uh, frequent uh, enforced errors and uh, impatience in yeah. taking some of the shots. You yeah, can tell yeah, that the game yeah. is uh, they still. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they are quite good shot by eh? Anu. Yeah, what good a shot. smash from Anu. You know, to to be in the lead, they are leading by uh, nine points. What a smash by Mamari. Yeah. It's now 8 9. Yeah, Algeria is trending. <laughs> powerful smash by Godwin. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, that was a very powerful smash. Nigeria is leading. Unforced by error now by, by Algeria. 11, 11 points. It's 11 points now to 9. And right. it's 11 points to 8, Roger. Eight. Yeah. And this eight. would tell you that um, this game hasn't yet settled. If you yeah. see the, the amount of unforced er errors by both teams. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, Timot. Indeed. So I you can tell the players are still nervous. Uh, they're yeah. they yeah, still yeah. afraid to take some of the shots. Uh, yeah, let's take on the risks, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe. <laughs> Uh, they are trying to calm themselves down, you know, putting the names in one accord. So I believe, um, trust me, it's going to change. Even the routine itself is going to change, change just in terms of the, the style of play. It's going to change. You see? It's going to change. The unforced errors, Roderick. They keep on coming. They keep on coming. Players are both nervous. And they are not so sure about some of the shots that are playing. Good rally by both teams. Unforced error, you yeah, see? Yeah, <laughs> indeed, 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 indeed. These are forced errors due to pressure, you know. Yeah, it's 10, 11 now. Just a point in between. That shot went way wide. Good attack play by Algeria. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Oh, 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 what a hero from Anu. You know, it's now 12 up. And it's 12 each, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 12 up now. Good play. Trust Good me, shot by Anu. It's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, especially when you're putting all your smashing on this Mamadi guy. It's not going to be easy for... For the players to score him, to make a point <laughs> for him. No, trust me. This guy's got good defense. No! No! Pretty tough game, this one, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, it's quite tough. You know, it's all about who plays it better. <laughs> What a shot by Mamari. Yeah, 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 indeed. What a shot that was. What a shot that was indeed. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Both teams are really giving in their best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are settling now. Yeah, it seems the, the, the game is now settling. Yeah. Yeah, they have settled, they have settled. 
You know, one Timothy, one thing that I, what I found to be, uh, is that, you know, badminton appears to be very easy, especially when people are really brain it all. But in the actual sense, it's not. You know, it just really appears to be easy, but it's not. You know, it's quite tough. Just that people, are, um, the players need to be very energetic. You know, and not only that, but also very accurate in terms of the capacity level of thinking, you know, so... Yeah, badminton uh, really involves a lot. Uh, yeah, the the, the physical sharp. aspects, uh, the mental aspects... Yeah, uh, the emotional yeah. aspects, you know, everything. You know, That's because, sport, man. Yes, because you're emotionally disturbed, you can't play it all, you know. You can't play it all, trust me, trust me. The shot went way wide yeah, to yeah. Algeria's advantage. Another unforced error, Roderick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. This is 19 now. It's 19 18. It's 17 16, Roderick. Good attack by Nigeria. I can't believe the defense that the Algerians have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good attack by Nigeria. Smashes, you know. Yeah. Wow. That was quite good. You know, in you have said it all to say that the Nigerians, they don't give up. You know, they have kept on proving themselves to say that they can power as many smashes as they can. As long as what they want to come up with. As long as what they want to do as <laughs> Definitely yeah. very dedicated, these men. Yeah, indeed, indeed. They're putting up a good fight, Roger. Yeah, 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 yeah. The players have settled now. What a shot by Algeria. Yeah, what a smash that was. And it's 17 18. Is that about by Amek? The, the umpire needs to to caution uh, players about some some certain things, especially yeah. when saving. Yeah. Uh, there should be no movements. The, the yeah, legs should yeah. be stable, you know. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, because Amek made some movements that really made uh, Anu to move, you know. Yeah, so I believe uh, even them also, they need to be up there so that they can be able to... It's a know. tight game. It's a tight game for both uh, teams. Yeah, it's 18-0 uh, now. It's 18-0. Anybody can take it. It's about who does it best. It's 19 now. Le Nigeria leading by 19 points to 18. It's all about who does it best. Now. What do you think? I, that's, what, that's what I think. It's all about who does, who does it best. As we stand, uh, the best team will carry the day because it's not yeah. predictable, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. It's 19 0 now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust me, this game is not predictable. Any team can win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> what a what powerful a smash from Godwin. Huh? That was a smash. Uh, full of venom. That know. was a brave smash. Yeah, that was a very brave one. Looking at the hangar where the shot was. He went for the body. He went yeah, for the body. Yeah, he just went straight on Hamak. You know, yeah, that was a very powerful smash. You know, one thing that I love about the Algerians, the Algerians, uh, they look to be very calm even if. Um, because of their experience, because yeah, of their experience, yeah, you look at their calm. experience in doubles, Rodri. Yeah, yeah. Good defense by Anu. Yeah. Good attack. 
Yeah, oh my god. Very, uh, I can't believe this. Good rally, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was a very good rally that the prayers really portrayed. The, this is quite good. This double is quite interesting. Quite an interesting match. Yeah, indeed, indeed, Timothy. It's 21. Oh. It's a hard shuttle now. You know, the Algerians are in flight now. They are leading by 20. Oh. Unforced error. You know, it's really unforced errors from Amak. You know, this is quite uh, interesting to me. What do you think? You Pre know, pressure is now mounting, yeah, Roderick. Yeah. <laughs> On both prayers, you know. The pleasure is mounting. The knaves now are yeah, getting the in. Knaves. The knaves now, the knaves now. This is twenty two up, right? Yeah, it's twenty it's twenty two each. Yes. What a good you know, shot! It's, it's 23 <laughs> up this much. I don't know where it is really taking us. You know, this is 20, 23 up now, and I believe the names of the players are who up are there. Yeah, because definitely. It's all about who's <laughs> going to carry the day? Who's going to carry the first set? It What a good shot by yeah. Mamari. What a good shot by Mamari. Such a good interception. Yeah, he really anticipated that <laughs> shot. He really anticipated that shot, trust me. He really anticipated that shot. This guy is quite tall. So to, to him, it wasn't even adding any pressure to him in terms of height. Because he really tackled it very well and clear. Definitely. Yeah. It's the Algerians who have taken the first set. The first set goes to Algeria. Yeah, the first set goes to the Algerians. 25-23. Yeah, 25-23. Quite you a know. pretty tight game. Yeah, it was a very, very tight game. It was a very tight game, you know. Now, if Nigeria needs to come back, they need to uh, bring, back, the uh, bring back uh, the competition. Yeah, uh, come yeah. back stronger and come back with uh, better ideas yeah, because uh, the game is tight and uh, if you check out Roderick, uh, the experience of these uh, Al Algerian players in such uh, conditions is mm -hmm. vast, uh, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, they have yes. been in those situations uh, uh, plenty of, in plenty of occasions. Uh, yeah. You know how to deal with uh, uh, pressures in in yeah, such uh, in such yeah. occasions uh, so let's see what uh, the coaches will will tell the players and uh, let's see what uh, the second game will will bring for us yeah indeed Timoth, indeed because um, we are very eager to see how the second set will go because um, one thing we basically know is um, it's going to be interesting because it's all about who is going to which team is going, to, is going to carry the day? Which team is going to be declared victorious? Which team are going to be, is, is going to be um, champion? Champions of Africa yeah. team event. <laughs> it's going to be amazing, you know. It's going to be amazing and quite tough. <laughs> yeah, it's a point to the Nigerians. It was a double kick. What a good body shot by Algeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many of those body shots in this game, Roderick. 
You see? Yes, indeed, <laughs> indeed. You need to. It, it's, it's, I think it's all about putting the pressure on the person who's not stable. So they are just following up to to uh, a person who's not stable. I believe uh, with the pressure mounting little by little for the Nigerians, if they are not careful, they are going to lose this one. Yeah, yeah, they need yeah. to stabilize. Yeah, uh, they need to come down to make sure that everything is just being done right and okay and all will go well with them. But if they are going to have such kind of a pressure, trust me. The, pr the pressure is on Nigeria now. Yeah, yeah. And Algeria are three two up. Yeah, they are leading. You can see the pressure mounting on Nigeria yeah, though. Duke. Especially knowing that they are trending. Yeah, especially knowing that they are trending, you know, so the pressure keeps on mounting on them. Good defense by Nigeria, yeah, forcing the Algerians to the throw the, the shot out. What a good interception by Mamari. Yeah, 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 indeed, indeed. It was quite tough and uh, quite interesting to Moth. They are now two points up, these Algerians. Yeah, yeah, they are two points up. Good defense by Mamari. I can't believe this. What a shot. Yeah, this guy is quite tall. So when they are putting the shuttles, they need to make sure that they need to put the shuttles where they space. Not where the person, the same person Mamari we're talking about is. That's why they put the shot. He's not going to miss it. By no means, trust me. This guy is quite good and quite uh, brave. You know, so um, even the shuttles that they are placing, they need to be placing them where there is space. Timoth, what do you think? Yeah, pretty good in defense, this guy. Very tall. He's opening his body. He's not allowing uh, any shuttle to, to go in. Uh, pretty, pretty good. If you see, they are now attacking. They are now speeding up the game, trying to get um, maximum points. So girls, congratulations, you won a silver medal. So what's the feeling after uh, this uh, final battle for, uh, for medals? matches until the last uh, last match so how, how what was the your strategy to uh, to one um, and what did you apply what work one well work well and what didn't work Congratulations, and we will be happy to see you on the podium with a great silver medal. Thank you. 
The pressure keeps on mounting on the Nigerians, huh? The, the Nigerians are seriously taking this game. Yeah, the pressure is really mounting, you know. The pressure is really mounting on the Nigerians and knowing the fact that the Algerians are 11 now, they are on interval, leading the Nigerians. 11 points to 8, Roderick. Yeah, it's 11 points to 8. They are really up to their game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, yeah. They are attacking more now. Yes, they are attacking. They are the bringing game. the game to the party, Roderick. Trust me, they are <laughs> on the Nigerians. They don't want the Nigerians to just have a, 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 a very quick breath. No, they want to catch them on the throat so they, can, they can't really breathe properly. You know, that's what they are doing because they are giving no space to the Nigerians. Trust me. They are firing up smashes on them such that they are failed to recognize what is basically happening according to me, Tim. What Mounting pressure on the Nigerians it is, yeah. Roderick. The experienced Algerian doubles team. You see. No this is what they can offer you, these yeah. Algerians, in terms of doubles, Roderick. Yeah, trust me. They knew if they take this game to doubles, they, they are going to win it. Yeah, yeah. And definitely that's what they are doing right now. They just really needed it. A one single of which they did it and here they are good shot trying to come back into the game are the Nigerians trying to fight through the party is not over for them yeah it's now 10-12 Fourth service caught by the umpire to Algeria's advantage. I can basically tell Timo that these Ni Algerians they're not going to make Nigeria ladies indeed survive this one. And they really love the heart that the Nigerians are having. You know, they're fighting back. Throwing everything that they Get into the Algerians with powerful smashes from Anu. That that looks to me like a very tiresome shot. Look to me a very tiresome shot. Yeah, yeah, indeed, too much, indeed. Especially knowing the fact that they, um, they lost the first set. So I think um, the best thing that I can ever do is. Uh, to just give it all like they are doing. Yes. They are pushing right now. Uh, indeed, you know, they are, they are really frustrating the, the Nigerians with their defense, with everything that is being put to them. You know, it's not something that is, is according to me. I think they are doing everything that they can, but I, unfortunately, it's not just really working out to them. According to the, uh, to the way they, are, they have planned the Nigerians in terms of play, Timon. They want to finish it up. Yeah. And trust me. To me, they know to say that the weakest link is Amak. But I'm very surprised that they're throwing all the pop smashes to Mamali. And Mamali is broken them with no difficulties. Trust me. Yes, it's pressure mounting on them now. They have pressure. And trust me, as long as the Algerians, they are, they are still in flight, they will not give breath to the Nigerians. Trust me. And if they're not careful, they'll just find this game all done.
it's welcome to the party by Algeria. They are taking this game. They really want to win this game. They are giving in everything to win this game. Yeah. And it, it looks like they are wrapping it up. It's 18 points now. It's 18 points. Trust me, it's hard for the Nigerians to come back on this one. Especially looking at how things have just been done now, all the play is going. It's gonna be hard on them. The the change in in uh, in the play by the Algerians has uh, destabilized the Nigerian team. Yeah, indeed. Forcing Nigerian them to make a lot of unforced errors. Yes, they have. They are, they do have pressure. Of which, according to me, this is time for them to come up. All right, this is the time for me to come down and make sure that everything just been done accordingly. But unfortunately, according to them, they have this pressure such that it is keeping on mounting, you know, making them first ellers. Good body shot by Mamari. Yeah, indeed, indeed. It's 19 now. The Algerians are 19. It's just two points away from declaring themselves victorious. If you want to win this tournament, you have to be both good in both singles and doubles. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And now it's 20, it's just a point away. It's just a point away to be declared as victorious as they were last time, these Algerians. You know, because they are defending champions, as we all know. It's not easy to be back-to-back -back champions, Roderick. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, it's not easy. It shows you how dedicated and hard-working they are, yeah, Roderick. Indeed, indeed. It's not easy. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's not easy. Almost wrapping the game. Yeah, indeed, 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 indeed. Almost wrapping up the game. They just need a point. A point to carry the day. A point to carry a day. A point, you know. You know, it has been really good and interesting. And they win. You know, yes, the Algerians have won and they've been declared victorious. Algeria are all Africa mains. Team champion, team champion, champion. 2024. You know, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, indeed, they have really um, sacrificed. And their celebrations are well. underway on court. Yeah, they are pretty well. Team <laughs> trust me, these guys, they have, they have done all that they needed to do. And trust me, the heart that they just had, it was quite good, quite fantastic, quite a good game, yeah. quite a good comeback by Algeria. And you know what I think. This guy, Amak, is the, is the guy that has revived the, uh, the, the slight death of Algeria, you know, because he brought them back to life when he won the, the first single. Definitely. You know, um, the third single, rather. Definitely. You it's know, all about team life. play and not individual. Yeah, indeed. So they worked as a team and hence their achievements. Yeah, indeed, indeed. For now, me, Kafunda Timothy, and Roderick Mwansa, we say yeah. goodbye. Yeah, thank goodbye. you. So thank you. Thank you so much.
veux venir à l'interview Toute l'équipe, toute l'équipe.